Son, you shouldn't have brought me to the hospital. You know you don't have money. How are you going to manage to pay my hospital bill if they charge us a lot of money? I know I don't have money, but I can't just watch my precious mother, a woman that suffers so much for me, die because of a lack of money. Don't worry, mother. I will find a way to sort it out. If I don't have money, I have friends that do. Are you sure you will get help from them? I can't stop being worried. I would have loved to die without giving you so much stress. You have suffered a lot because of me. I am not complaining, mother. That is my duty as your son. You brought me to this world and trained me until I became a man. Taking care of you is not enough to say thank you for all you went through in order to see me become a man. I am even more annoyed that I have not made it big the way I want so that you will enjoy the fruit of your labor. And I pray you will live to testify to the goodness of God. Amen. Don't worry, you will make it in life, it's just a matter of time it will be well with you. My son, I am proud of you. Mother is okay. Let me go and see the doctor. You will be fine. Okay, my son. Doctor I am here. What is wrong with my mother? See, young man, you have to be fast about making sure that your mother starts receiving treatment, that is, if you still love your mother and want her to continue living with you. Of course doctor, I love my mother so much. I don't want anything to happen to her. Tell me what to do so that she can start receiving treatment. It's very simple, you have to deposit $500 immediately, you shouldn't delay this because the sickness has entered inside her too much. She needs to stay in this hospital at least for two weeks for proper treatment. Five hundred dollars. Doctor I will be back. Let me run around. Alright, just don't waste time. My mother will not die because of five hundred dollars. I have to meet brother Peter for help, even if it means paying him later, no problem. Bank manager, have you checked how much my Celeste girl has brought to you since last week? Starting from Monday? Yes sir, she brought $10,000 on Monday, on Tuesday, $30,000, on Wednesday $20,000, on Thursday, $10,000, on Friday $20,000, on Saturday $10,000, so all the money she brought last week is $100,000. Alright, I want to know how much she brought you last week. You know no one is to be trusted, especially nowadays children. Thank you. You can now continue with your work. Alright, sir. Have a nice day, sir. You are welcome. Have a nice day, sir. Alright. Sales girl. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Take rag and clean all this place, and come to my office, and report today's sales. Okay, sir. Yes, come in. Sir, today's total sales are $20,000. Okay, now go to the bank and deposit them. Okay, sir. Thank God, we made a lot of sales today. Hello, Brother Peter. Brother Larry, welcome, I am surprised to see you. I hope there's no problem. Thank God you are still here. I was afraid I would not meet you here. I hope there's no problem. There is a little problem. I need your help. My mother is in the hospital, and the doctor said I must deposit $500 before he can commence treatment on her. Chai, Brother Larry, there were no sales today at all. I wish I could assist you. Oh, what do I do now? Take things slowly. There's God. I know he will heal your mother. Just commit it into his hands, and he will answer you, just as he answers prayer. Chai, it's a pity. I wish I could help you, but there's nothing I can do is okay. Come, let me drop you. I'm about to go home before you came. Okay. You heard what I said. Take it easy. God heals, and when you call on him, he will answer. Just be praying. There is nothing difficult for God to do. He makes the impossible possible. What God cannot do does not exist. As long as you pray to him with all your heart, he will answer you. Bible say in Matthew 7 verse 7 to 8. Ask and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. For everyone who asks, receives. He who seeks, finds. And to him who knocks, 
the door will be opened. My brother, tap into this verse whenever you are praying, and watch God do something miraculous. Thank you, brother. You are welcome. I will also join you in prayer. From now on, anytime I pray, I will commit your mother's health into God's hands. Okay, brother, please, I will drop by here. Okay, let me park. Now remember what I told you. Just be praying. Okay, thanks for the advice. Take care of yourself. Okay, thanks. Bye bye. Bye. Nonsense. Am I printing money? Did I tell him I don't know what to do with money? I suffered a lot too, and no one agreed to help me when I was suffering, so everybody should suffer? That is life for you. Hello, sales girl. Make sure you don't make a mistake when counting that money. Husband, you are back. Yes, I am back. <laughs> How are you and, do you miss me? I am fine, and yes, I miss you. So how is today's business? We made a lot of sales today, and I thank God for that and my beautiful wife, who always prays for the success of her husband. Are you sure? In fact, I am taking you out to show you how serious I am. I want to spend some money on you. Where do you want me to take you? Beach, Shiprite, Tantalizer, Tasty Chicken? Shopping mall, which one? Alright, I want to go to beach first, and then after Shiprite, I want to buy some things. Beach, here we come. Let's go there. Yeah, yeah, I love my husband. Do you know our neighbor, Brother Larry, from our street? Yes, I do. What happened? Is he okay? Yes, he is. He came to the shop asking me for help. He said his mother is hospitalized and he needs $500 for his treatment. And what did you tell him? I told him I didn't have money. In fact, you are in my heart. Did he think you were plugging money or what? Don't mind him. He mistook me for a money printing machine. You like this place. Yes, I do. Enjoy yourself, my beautiful wife. Thank you, my sweet husband. Eat my money, my dear wife. <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. All the people I hope on disappointed me. Why is it that human beings are without a conscience? Doctor, is there something you can do to help me? All the people I hope on. All disappointed me, and I don't want to lose my mother. She suffered a lot for me. She has not enjoyed the fruit of her labor. Please help me. Young man, there is nothing I can do, although I am a doctor. This is not my hospital. There are rules and regulations here, and I don't want to break any of them to avoid losing my job. So what do I do now? You have to take your mother home, and be praying for her. That's all you can do, because the more you keep her here, the more they charge you. E. E, E, oh God, save my mother. Dear, have you seen the kind of iPad you are looking for? The one I saw, they said is $1,000. Tell them to give it to you very fast, so that we can go to other places. That's my sweet husband. <coughs> my heart, my heart. Mother, I am back. Mother. No, 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 no. Mother, wake up. Don't do this to me. Don't leave me alone. Please wake up. E, E, E. Is a boy. My team is winning. Men and ball, why do you people like ball so much? To the point that you are ready to cry if your team loses? That is why we are men. Yeah. Dear, I'm hungry. Go get some food for me. Okay, sir. Yes, come in. Larry, you are here. Good day, Peter. Good day, Larry. Why are you crying? Come and sit down. Thank you. 
What happened? I wanted to call you to ask about your mother. How is she? She is dead. Oh, is it a pity? Take heart? God gives and God takes. Please, I'm here to ask for some money for her burial. I don't know if you can help me, but later I will give it to you. My brother, you will not understand. I don't have, even as I'm speaking to you, I'm looking for money to put goods in my shop. Please try to manage. Thanks, I will be going now. See you next time. Sorry, I will not see you off. I have something to do. No problem. Bye bye. Oh God, what kind of world is this? There is no help in this world. What am I going to do? God, I thought you would answer my prayer. I am so disappointed, and I am tired. In fact, as of today, I will no longer pray to you because it is of no use. What is the use of praying when you do not answer? Excuse me brother. Yes, what is it? I bring good news to you. I want you to give your life to Jesus. There is no time to continue living in sin. It is for your own good. Please stop. I don't want to hear. I mean, I've heard enough already. Take your good news to another person. I am not interested. What happened? What is the use of surrendering your life to Jesus? At the end, you will pray and pray without answers. Allow me to live my life the way I want it. I like it that way. You sound so bitter. And what do you mean by God does not answer prayer? God is not deaf that he cannot hear, so tell me, why do you say that your prayers have not been answered? You will not understand. There was a time I needed answers to my prayers. I prayed and prayed and got no answer. I looked for help up and down, but no one agreed to offer it, not even my own brother in Christ. I am so disappointed. In this life, money rules the world, and when you don't have money, you are alone. Even God will abandon you. To me, he is the God of the rich. Brother don't say that, you see, in everything that happened, there is a reason for it. Do not think that God forsake you, simply because your prayers has not yet be answered. All you need is to continue praying and the right time he will answer to you. I don't think you understand me, in fact, you will never understand. I understand. What if I tell you you are richer than those you called the rich? What if I tell you that God allowed you to pass through that so that you will learn and understand the meaning of your existence on this earth, so that you would not miss the way? Problems shouldn't make you turn bad. Instead, you should learn from them and figure out where God needs your services. That is who you are. That is why God sent you on earth. That is purpose of your greatness, you have to find it out, before unlocking the greatness in you. Think about it. Everyone is great, but with different missions on earth. The mission is what God wants you to be doing. God is not interested in your riches. He is interested in you serving Him, and there is a particular area He needs you to serve Him. That is why you must pass through those challenges, so that you will figure it out. Pay attention when facing challenges. Stop murmuring or hating God. Every challenge is made for a reason. If you miss the reason, you have missed the purpose of your existence, and when you miss the purpose of your existence on earth, your wealth and your greatness are useless. They have no value, and at the end, you mighty lose your soul because, you are running your race blindly. I am sorry, God, for not understanding you. Please forgive me. And I assured you that, God has vindicated you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Who are you, and why are you blocking me? Allow me to take my goals. They are no longer yours, it belonged to another now. It belonged to who? What do you mean by that? Him. Why, why, get out of my way now. You don't know the reason why it's been given to you or the use of it. It is no longer yours. Now go. Just a dream. Dear, you did not go to shop. I am feeling hadaki. I had a dream last night, but I can't remember what it was about. You mean you dreamed, but can't remember? Yes, I'm just feeling pain in my head. What is going on here, and why is my store empty? Sir, that is how I saw it. When I came, it was our neighbor who told me the story. Oh God, why, why, why? What should I do now that I just filled my shop with all the money I have? Why should it be now? E, 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 
I am getting tired of this miserable life. I have told you to stop crying, stop crying it been one year now, forget everything, and let's keep managing. What do you call managing? We barely had enough food to eat. Is this how I'm going to live my life? I think I have found a solution to our financial problem. There is a place I heard people go to collect loans. Maybe you can go and collect loans there. Which location, and how confident are you that they will grant me a loan? I will give you the address of the place. And I am sure they will give you the loan. Sir, you called me. Yes, secretary. Bring in the first person. Yes, sir. Yes, madam. What can I do for you? Sir, I need some money to start a business. How much do you need, and when are you going to pay it back? Sir, I need $1,000, and I will pay back in one year time. Okay, drop your address, your passport, and your account number to my secretary. Thank you, sir. Thank God. He is the one who made it possible for you because he loves you. He loves you to the point of sending his precious son Jesus to die for you, so that you will not perish. Always remember the sacrifice of Jesus in your life. Thank you, Jesus, for saving my soul. Be my Lord and personal Savior. Next person. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon, sit down. Wait are you not Brother Peter? I am sir. How did you know my name? Don't you recognize me, I am Larry. You Larry, how come? Is God doing, but first sit down and tell me why you are here. Bro Larry, I have serious problem, that's why I'm here, I need money to fill my shop and I will pay back in 6 months time. What happened to your goods? Thieves came in and stole all my goods since then I have not be doing anything. Chai is a pity, so how much are you looking for? I need like $1,500 to start again, and I will pay back in 6 months time. Okay, brother, God has blessed me beyond my imagination. I will give you $2,000. Use it and don't pay it back. What, me? I don't deserve this. I showed you excess wickedness when you needed my help. Why are you helping me? Don't you know that God designs everything that happens to a person for a purpose? Your wickedness is meant to help me find the purpose of my life, the reason why God sent me on earth, the particular thing I must do in order to be converting souls to God, that is God's purpose in our life, and that is what I am doing right now. It has nothing to do with greatness but soul winning. If I had not experienced that difficulty, I wouldn't have known that a lot of people are perishing because of a lack of help. I wouldn't have known that my service to God should be giving help to the needy. So it is not your fault, it is for a greater purpose, problems, afflictions, are designed for us to know the purpose of our living, and the area we need to render services to God. The work of God is not only preaching the word of God. When you solve someone's problem in any way, either by giving or others, you have shown the person the Jesus in you, thereby converting them to being good, and also using the opportunity to tell them Jesus died for you and that will help them repent. Because you have demonstrated Jesus in you. You may not realize it then, but later, or on the last day, you will realize that. Anything you are doing that involves giving solutions or saving people's souls from perishing is God's work. As long as it is not evil or against the word of God. A lot of people to whom I have offered loans mighty have committed suicide, turned evil, or started thinking about how to do money rituals because of lack, but I have stopped them from thinking that way by indirectly telling them about Jesus. Because the thing that would have made them engage in evil has been solved. They will no longer have negative thoughts, but will instead surrender to Jesus. That is my call. You see, God answers prayer. You are an answer to prayer for that person. Don't turn bad. Some people turn bad when they go through a lot, but that is not what God wants. God wants you to pass through that situation so that you will rise and be a help to those who are facing it. That is the purpose of you, experiencing that problem, learn from your problems, find out what God wants you to be doing. Once you are liberated, the moment you figure it out, you have found the purpose of your existence on earth, everyone have a reason why he or she is on this earth. I found my purpose of living, thanks to you. I was born to render financial help to those that are lacking in it. This is the place I must be to convert souls to God. And I must pass through that for me to understand. Thank you. 
I have learned a lot. God forgives me for not knowing the purpose for which you sent me on this earth. Is your life a channel of blessing? Is the word of God flowing through you? Do you care for those who are perishing? Do you let people know that God answers prayer through you? Whatever you have is an answer to prayer for those who are looking for it. Allow people to glorify God through you. When you own or have something, there is a reason God allowed you to own it. It is for his name to be glorified not to be mock. It is for people to repent through that thing you have. It is not for you to be gathering, and gathering because you will leave them behind, but those soul you converted through what you are, the blessing will be permanent in your life both in heaven and on earth. We should take care of souls of men. Unfortunately, some people see others, even their family members, straying away from God without blinking an eye. No intercession or effort made in any possible way to take off the load of sin or challenges from their lives. But God's demand from his own is to stand in the gap on behalf of others. He wants to see the Samaritan in us, taking care of our neighbor and bringing sinners to Christ. He is not looking for those who beat their chests with pride as the only righteous people, nor is he looking for those who feel unconcerned about others, eternal salvation, or welfare. God expects his sons and daughters to be those who will ask on the reckoning day, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in? Or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came unto thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as ye have done it unto one of the least of these my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Matthew 25 verse 37 to 40. God wants to see you and I doing the deeds of the Good Samaritan notwithstanding our tie schedules and religious engagements. Now ask yourself, what am I doing in this position I am in? Am I using my position to win souls to God or am I using it to destroy souls? If the answer is no, then think of how to use it to save souls for God. Once you figure out how to, you have found the purpose of your life. That is the reason God sent you to earth. And remember, you are nothing. If you can't find the purpose of your life, so find it. Thanks for watching, and please subscribe, like and share. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you.